Hey guys, how's it going? Ghost of Richard today, and today we're going to be installing this trunnion kit for our Corvette project. I'm going to be putting this into, of course, an LT based motor 2017 Brand Sport project. Plan on twin turboing it, and we need to make sure that our rocker assembly is completely solid because if we don't do this and we keep the needle bearing set up, what could always happen is when we start hitting boost and things like that the bearings could fail and then you have these little needle bearings that shoot all over the inside of your motor which would do a lot of damage and that is exactly what we don't want so what we're doing is we're upgrading to this bushing style trunnion so first thing we got to do to actually upgrade to this is we got to open up our old rockers and pull out the old trunnions so that way we can install this bushing based one so let's go ahead. I just wanted to show you the jewelry first, close this up and get ready to pull some of the old ones out. You're going to need a 7 8 socket and a 9 16 All it does, you see the opening right here? It just sits right on there. Now, how you know which side to push out on? See how this one has two flat spots and this one does not? Well, that's pretty easy. This is so this can sit on right here and then uh, where it doesn't have it, this pushes it in. Basically what we're doing is pushing this socket into that socket in theory. So what you want to do is, so I can show you better, I'm going to hold this against here. We're going to center this, it has to be centered. And then with my pinky finger, actually I might have to do this, I'm going to line this up so it sits just like this. And then we're going to put a little bit of pressure on it just like that. It should straighten out. We might have to move this just a little bit. We make sure, eh, I'll actually want that down there, just like that. Okay, now that we've got that, we start to put pressure on it. Ah, little pop, that's fine. And we start to go up. Again, I'm using a small vise. Since I'm using a small vise, it's uh, a little bit more fun. If you're using a bigger vise, it goes by a little quicker. But once it gets started, See that? I hope. Let's see if I can put you on a better angle. I want to zoom in. See how it's slipping? Perfect. Should do that. When she goes, it'll pop just like that. Perfect. Now we go out. Move it like this. There's our bearing. Yay, our bearing is still in one piece. If this slips out, this little collar slips out, all those little needle bearings will go everywhere in the room. So we just do that and put this off to the side. Go ahead and do that with all the other ones. I slid the casing open so you could see. See these little guys? That's just one bearing. So you can see if this little casing fails and these little guys start going all over your motor, you can imagine the damage they'll do if they get into your oiling system, or they get into other rockers, everything. So this is why we're going to bushings. Open socket on here. This side doesn't matter. I only like the open socket here because it kind of sits nice on that uh, rounded piece. And then we just make sure this kind of stays squared up and we tighten this up ever so slowly. And whatever you do, always double inspect before pressing because you don't want to damage it. So we can see that's there. I can see that's lined up down there. This is right on the center. Now that we know that we're all lined up, we can now go here, start pressing. Always does that one scary pop. And then we just start squishing. This vise, if it was mounted, it would be a little bit better, but this is my portable vise. Just like that. Now it's smooth as butter. And then, just watch for those little bearings, pick it up, and again continue. Time for reassembly. You would go ahead. This is some Lucas assembly lube. I prefer it, if you want, you can use engine motor oil. Just go ahead and put some in a little cup like so. From here, make sure these are absolutely clean. 
The next thing I would suggest you do is run your finger along the edge. If you feel any burrs or anything, you need some light grit sandpaper or my favorite, which is the yellow with the green uh, scotch bright pads, you go ahead and you can get in here and you can scrub these and that'll usually clean up any sort of burrs or contaminants in here, but inspect them, wipe them, and then if you just disassemble these, make sure you clean your hands, make sure they're sparkling. You don't want anything to go wrong while assembling this. Before we use this piece, put it off to the side. What we're going to do is take our first trunnion, which is right here. Take some lube, put it on your fingers, move it all the way around. I like to do both sides at once. If you're working on a clean surface, it's not a big deal. If you're worried about getting contaminants, don't do this because it'll pick up everything on your pad. All right, next thing you need to do, I like to aim the logo aiming at me. From there, go ahead, pull out one of the bushings. Cover it on both sides. If you cover it on both sides, even though we've already got the inside covered, we now know it's going to take care of everything. Slide it on. Here you go, make sure it's all clean. Feel for any burrs with your finger. If anything catches or feels like grit on your finger, Go grab a scotch bright pad, that's that yellow pad with the green on the inside, and you just wanna rub on the inside of here and get rid of it so this is nice and silky smooth. Now, we'll put this off to the side. If you want, take some assembly lube, like so, put it into this cup, just like that. Now, we have a good surface. If you didn't before, go and clean your hands before touching this stuff after you've cleaned it because if there's any grits or anything on your fingers from removing the other stuff or even from walking around the house, it could affect the quality and the end result. So now that we've got this, I'm just gonna actually move it off to the side. We're gonna grab the trunnion, just like so. Grab a little bit of assembly lube, put it around both edges since I know my Work area is clean. I'm not worried about getting any lube on there. Clean this just a little bit. Grab this, a little more lube, little meaning lot, and then rub some on the inside, slip it on. Look at that. Now that we've got that there, we need one of our snap rings. See if I can do it with this hand so that way I can properly show you. Basically, I've got right angle ones so I can try and show you. Separate it like that, open, just like that. I might move that over just a little bit just because I'm a little crazy that way. I like to have everything right there, straight. Because if you look on there, there's a little E. <laughs> you don't have to do that by the way. It's just craziness. Anyways, we go over here. Next thing to do, since we've already cleaned this, slide this piece on. There we go. Now that that's gone through, we go ahead, we use another bushing. Just make sure you go ahead, again, covering it in lots and lots of lube. We already lubed the trunnion side, but you can never do too much of this, especially since we're putting this into a fresh motor. Okay, that's down. And again. There we go. And there we go. Uh, pretty close. There we go. And that has been converted now to a bushing. It's not hard, it's just tedious. Make sure you put this somewhere, it's covered in lube and stuff so you don't want it to pick up anything. So I would put it in a, either a Ziploc bag or in a contained area so that way it doesn't pick up any grits or anything like that and or just bolt it right back into the vehicle.
well that concludes this tutorial as you can see everything's on here we are left with one spare snap ring i guess they give you one just in case other than that pretty easy tedious but easy either way i hope you enjoyed this video thanks again for watching press like if it helped you subscribe for more i'm going to throw this up here and pretty soon we're going to be building the motor just waiting for the machine shop